Tag Team Hobbies presents Stone Age Videos. Today, the Neo TRN Part 1. We'll be going after this beast today. And what we're going to do is take out the whole front end. Take out the action of the airbrush, which is what's pictured here. And we're also going to go after the internals and the slide mechanism and the air valve. So, here goes nothing. These cleaning mats are great. Got this wonderful diagram of an HPC Plus acts like camo for airbrush parts. So we'll be working on a clean paper towel. Here's the airbrush we're going to be working on, a Neo TRN1. We can already see around where the trigger is, the slide mechanism of the trigger. There's quite a bit of paint here. So I bet it's all inside the mechanism. And if we look at the underside of the trigger, you can see where paint was allowed to pool on this little lip at the bottom of the trigger. So it's going to be pretty pretty inside. These are a little different than standard trigger airbrushes, but let's get started. We'll do the easy thing first. First, unscrew the handle. Easy enough. Next. We will unscrew the needle chucking nut and pull out the needle. Oh, a bit of crud there. If when pulling out the needle, it made the whole needle action assembly move, then you know the needle is pretty crudded up. Next, we'll take out the spring guide. That just unthreads. Whoops, there goes the needle chucking nut. With the spring guide out, there's the needle spring. And there's the needle chucking guide. You can see that slot. When you reassemble the airbrush, that's going to be facing downwards. Next, we'll take apart the front end. For instructional purposes, we'll do all three parts. This is called the needle cap or the air cap. It protects the needle if you should drop your airbrush. Definitely to be avoided. Next, we'll take off the nozzle cap. And there's the nozzle, that little tiny part right there. We'll need our Neo nozzle wrench and very carefully put that in place and loosen the nozzle. These work best for taking nozzles off not putting them back on. So we will carefully unthread the nozzle and lay it down. Since it looks like we're going to have to deep clean this one, we're going to take off the head base here. And I'll grab my soft jawed pliers that come in the WADA Pro Maintenance Toolkit. <clears throat> Loosen that up and unscrew the head base. That exposes the head base o-ring, which we do not need to take out. We can get everything cleaned with that still in place. Now the fun part, the air valve and the trigger mechanism. First off, let's take off the trigger itself. This is the um, trigger screw. So I've got a pretty small jeweler screwdriver here and I'm just unscrewing that. Comes right out. I'll use the butt of the needle to dislodge it. There we go. There's the trigger screw. And here's the trigger itself and oh yeah. Look at all the crud inside there. This is one of my demo guns, so they've gotten a lot of work over the years. And this has never been done to them, so it's a great example. Alright, now we have to get this slide out. And in order to be able to do that, we have to take out this little screw that you can barely see here. 
and to get that out we have to take the handle off. So I get my soft grip pliers, loosen this nut up, and take that off to remove the handle. And this part is the grip extension. So we're going to take that off. And this is why, this is part of the reason you should never soak your whole airbrush with the air valve built into it. Definitely not in solvent based cleaners because that's a neoprene o ring, it is not solvent proof. So here's the valve spring. And here's the air valve. Not quite done yet because the parts we're after are up inside here. So this is part of the air piston set. This whole thing and all the parts inside it. So we'll grab our pliers again. Take this off. There's another neoprene o-ring. And lo and behold, we've got the insides of the air valve here. So we need to grab a nice pair of tweezers, pull this sleeve off, and out comes the piston. Oh boy, that's in there pretty good. Now if you look carefully, you'll notice the piston has a tapered side and a dome side. The dome side's going to go up so that the part that operates the valve can slide freely against that. All right. Now we have to get the body o ring the body ring out and that means loosen that screw. So we're going to take out the body screw with our little jeweler screwdriver. And now we need to take out the body ring. And I've got an old, huge, standard screwdriver that fits in that slot nicely, and we're just going to unscrew this. When you go to put this ring back in, you have to be very careful to make sure it doesn't get cross-threaded, because that's pretty easy to do. So just make sure that it's sitting square when you start putting it back in. And if you run into any kind of resistance, you need to stop and reseat it. And while we're unscrewing here, we start to notice the two little holes. This is what the body screw sits in to hold this ring in place. They're both drilled out in the same spot. We want the one that's going to line up nicely in that hole right in the middle of it when you screw it back in. That's easy enough. So once we have this out, then our next piece is the main um, the spring for the slide cam. This is the slide cam. We want to get that out. Well, you can really see this is pretty cruddied up. And I'm going to use the screwdriver to push this out all the way, tap it a few times, and holy smokes, look at all the crud in there. Good thing that spring's nice and strong, otherwise this wouldn't have gone anywhere. All right, now we've got this uh, pretty much disassembled. Let's go ahead and take out the... Um, needle packing screw and our needle packing o-ring should come right out with it so I'll use my slotted screwdriver or my standard little standard screwdriver and unscrew that and there we go and there's the needle packing o-ring stuck right to that there and that's fine alright this is ready to clean out which we will do in part two. And I'll show you how to clean up all these pieces and we'll go from there. Special thanks for this video. Go to Kirk Liebecker at Iwata Medea and valued customer Joe Leos. Stay tuned for part two.